In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sound effects in your Sharp Tools rules using the Echo Speaks integration. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. If you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three steps to get started. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use Alexa Skills Kit Sound Library. And I've already summarized everything here. These are all of the working sounds that we can use. And we're going to create a rule to demonstrate how those sounds work. So the first thing we need to do is create a new rule. So all we need to do is go to the bottom and click create rule. And let's just call this echo speaks sound effects test. And let's put a trigger on this. So to run this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an event trigger. And I'm going to choose a device. And I've already set up a virtual device that I use all the time just to test rules. And that is my Sharp Tools Run. And I'm going to say when the switch changes to on, we'll save that. And then what we need to do is add a flow. What we need to do is just tap on the plus choose an action and we're going to choose our device and I'm going to choose our echo in our office here and then what we need to do is choose our command so the command that we're looking for is execute sequence command all right so I just made my window smaller here so we can see both um, Sharp Tools Rule Engine and um, the page on our website where we summarize this. And I'll leave a link in the video description to get to this page. And you can see that, um, you know, kind of summarize what Echo Speaks is and what it does. It's really good at adding voice to anything, but this is going to be how you're going to add sound effects. So say if you want a sound effect when a door opens or you want um, a sound effect when someone comes home and you can also add sound effects in with your automations with voice or I mean you can do anything basically you can use these sound effects all over the place so basically what we're going to have to do is use these sound effects here we got bells and buzzer sounds holiday sounds miscellaneous sounds animal sounds, sci-fi sounds, and crowd sounds. I also do have the link to the Alexa skills kit here um, if you want to go and check that out. So how we need to format this over on Sharp Tools is all we need to do is in the string spot we need to type in sound and then we put two colons so it's sound two colons no spaces and then let's just use this first one here. So we're going to type in bells and we're going to save this and save the rule. All right, now when we go over, um, I put an asterisk on there so it would kind of end up at the top. So now we can test this rule and let me get my phone open. So you can see me toggling this on and off. All right, so over on my phone, I have the Sharp Tools Run Virtual Switch, and you can see that it's currently off. So when we turn this switch on, it's going to play out of our Echo device. Also notice that we chose our Echo Office, um, so you have to choose which one you want it to play from. If you wanted it to play from multiple ones you would just add a second action okay so i just turned up my volume on my echo device 
and let's go ahead and tap the sharp tools run virtual switch to on on my phone and there you heard the bell sound there is about a second delay from when I switch the switch on to the sound. We can turn that off. And now if we wanted to test another sound, let's see here. Um, Halloween door. Let's grab that one. I'm gonna copy and paste the words. Edit this. Just remove the bells part. Paste in the Halloween door click update and click save now when we tap our sharp tools run to on it will have the Halloween door sound so that would be a great thing to play like in the middle of the night if someone breaks in really scare your wife <laughs> let's see what else we have here um let's try a boing so we'll take out the halloween door paste in the boing click update and let's go ahead and add another one real quick choose our action choose our device choose our echo Echo office and choose our sound. Let's choose a zap. We're going to do execute sequence command. Type in sound colon colon paste in our zap. Click on the save button. Now we have two. And click on save again. Turn off the switch and turn it back on. There's our boing and our zap. So you can see how easy that is. All you need to do is use one of these sounds. Um, I did leave a link to the library, but a lot of them are not going to work. So you probably just be best to stick with these. Although if you do find a sound that does work that's not on this list, please let me know. I will test it and I will add it to the list. So anyone um, watching this video in the future will be able to um, use all the available sounds so pretty much that is it um, now you can add any sound that's on this list over here to your automations just as a an action if you have any questions or need any help getting this set up leave them in the comment section i hope you found this video helpful if you did don't forget to like the video share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you in the next video.